Hi, my dear students. Welcome back. I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm having a really terrific day. I have the chance of teaching you this course, and you're going to be learning some pretty cool stuff. But anyways, the first thing that I want you to do, well, what we're going to be doing, let me just tell you that, we are going to be turning on file extensions in your computer, uh, in your Mac or your Windows, and then we are going to be installing our co-editor. All right, it's going to be free, it's going to be fast, and it's going to be super easy. So the first thing that I want you to do right now is open your browser. All right, because we're going to go to my best friend here. I don't know if he's your best friend, but he's mine. All right, so I want you to go to Google. Well, actually, you don't have to go to Google, but I recommend it. And then I want you to type this in here. Show all your file extensions in Windows 7, if you are in Windows 7, or Windows 8. And with Windows... We just without the eight, I found this first link right here, and that takes you to the Windows 7 tutorial on how to turn on your file extensions. All right, so you can pause the video and just, it's pretty simple and follow it for Windows 7 or for Windows 8. You might want to put Windows 8 here, all right, and you can you can see actually this is Windows 7. But you got to find for the one for Windows 8. I think this is the second one here. I'm not sure. All right. Windows 8, Windows 7 XP. Well, you have to. Let me just try another link here. Live. And let's see. For Windows, show hidden files. There we go. For Windows 8 right here. All right. So, actually, this Windows XP. Sorry about that. Windows Vista and Windows 8. All right. I think I found it for you right here. All right, so you can pause the video and do that a little bigger for you so you can see it. Okay, so once you turn on your file extensions for your Windows operating system, now let me tell my Mac users how to do that. <laughs> so Mac users, I went to Google and I did a search on Google and I did the same thing. And if I can get Google to work, that would be nice. But what I did on Google, I'm trying to press back here, and it's not letting me do that. So let me just go to Google right now. And I did the same thing here. Show all file extensions. In, and I put Mac. Okay? And I found this, this one for Mountain Lion here. All right? So you can pause the video and follow this. Or for Yosemite, I found this one. All right, that's the one I'm using. So you can go ahead. Once you have this turned on, then I want you to go to my best friend again and type in brackets. And then go to the brackets.io right here and download this code editor. It's free, it's fast, and it's super easy to install. Why do I want this? Because it's actually very popular right now. And like I said before, it's free. <laughs> All right, and it works for Mac users for Windows users and for Linux. So we got the whole package here. So once you download this one, all right, once you download the package, just install it, just like install any program in your computer, and then go ahead and open it. Find it, open it up, and you're going to have some files here on the left side. Now, you're not going to have the same files as I do right now because I already uh, created so many different files within, within, within this co-editor, but uh, you're going to have some default files. Do not mind those, all right? What I want you to do is once you open it, leave it open right here on the right-hand side. Make a new folder in your desktop and call the, the new folder, oops, let me just undo that, HTML. There we go. And once you have that folder, I want you to drag it to your co-editor, and you are done. In the next lecture, we're going to continue building up on this, and that's it. You're done, right? Pretty easy. So if you have any questions, you know I'm here for you, and you can make a discussion and ask me, message me, all right? I'm here for you. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. It was a pleasure, and I see you in the next lecture.